Hi, I'm Julie from uh, Miraxess. We are a French startup and uh, we are here to revolutionize the PC industry. Basically, what we want to do at Miraxess is uh, make sure that you never have to buy another computer in your life by transforming your smartphone into a laptop. Do you actually do this every day? Yeah, I do it. I'm a, I myself, I'm a marketing uh, manager, but I'm also a designer, and I use my Mirabox to uh, design my products. I use it with a VM machine so that I have my Windows application, but whenever I post it online on social media, I can just use my phone application. Like you it. use Shadow? Yeah, I use Shadow, actually. So That's basically, you have thing. a huge yeah. uh, NVIDIA GPU with a huge yeah. Intel remotely, and you just use the Shadow app. Yeah, basically. Oops. And with that, you can run all your Photoshop and everything yeah. you need? Yeah, exactly the same as if I was on a traditional computer, let's say. But if I ever need more power or anything, I just have to change my phone. I don't have to change anything else. All right. So, uh, this is just this is not just for show. It's not no. just for the trade show. No. Everybody at the company does that? Yes, we do. Actually, if you go on our website, you can see every design we've made and every uh, components that we've created with our website uh, that is reflected. So, I, what, what's happening here is that you have the integrated yeah, Type-C cable. cable. Exactly. And it just goes to your... What phone do you use? I'm uh, on the S21, but you can basically use any Type-C uh, 3.0 uh, mobiles that are, are like middle to high end. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, this is basically the lap dock, the ultimate lap dock. Yeah, it is. Are you the, the leader for this market? Yes, we are currently because we have a, a few competitors, but we are trying to create products that last in time and are the most sustainable possible. We are not here to try to sell you well, one more lap dock every year. The goal for us is really that you buy this one and then we change the parts that needs to be changed, like the battery last five to ten years whenever you need to change it we will change it for you so you're good to have this for at least five years at whatever least. and change yeah. your phone every couple years if you want if you want if you want and then you have a whole new laptop. computer basically yeah, yeah. And the, How's the performance it's really for your good, productivity? For my productivity, it's really good. I have like some lags uh, whenever I'm uh, using Shadow if my uh, connection drops. But uh, you can also use other kinds of VM machine like Parsec yes. or just uh, mobile applications. All right. Uh, how's the keyboard quality? It's quite good. I really love it. The only thing I would say is that it's a bit dirty because I, uh, I uh, drink a lot of coffee. So I often have my uh, sticky fingers, but it's a really good keyboard. And can you introduce your friend here? Yeah, my friend is actually my CEO. He's Hi uh, there. Yannis Hunter, the creator of Miraxis. Nice to meet you. So how's it going? Great. It's great to see you, by the way. Nice to person. see you. Uh, this is um, like your corner over here you can show. Let's go. Let's yeah, walk let's right go. here. This is the ultimate mobile world congress machine, I think, right? <laughs> Thank like you. The, you want to use the mobile. Yeah, for exactly. everything. Yeah, so we bet that in 10 years we won't have PCs anymore because we are going to kill the PC industry as it is today and replace it with mobile only. So mobile only is consider your smartphone as the only computer you need. And based on that vision... Let me see here. So what's happening on the, on the slide? So I have connected my personal smartphone to our new product, the Mirror Dock which is a docking station for Samsung DeX. And uh, I'm able to, to browse, to work, to show you this presentation. And like I said, we believe in mobile only. You have your smartphone as the only computer you need. And with that, you can push digital sobriety. So uh, it's good for the planet. It's so good. basically, the von der Leyen and the EU should make it mandatory. Right? They should. They should, definitely should. because. With our first product, the Mirrorbook, you can transform your smartphone into a full-fledged laptop. And if you do so, you can lower your carbon footprint by, by 56%. Why? Because the Mirrorbook is what we call a lap dock. And the lap dock is a, a laptop, but a passive laptop. There's no CPU, RAM, or storage, no heavy components. Your smartphone is the central unit. And by transforming your smartphone into a laptop, you can lower your carbon footprint by 56% because you have less components. That's easy and that's rational economically and ecologically. Nice. Uh, you say first version, but uh, I've seen you uh, do this for a while, right? Like a couple, two, three, four years. So uh, does, does that mean there's been revisions and uh, improvements in the product or is version, what do you mean? Mm. What's the, 
How would you define it? There have been some improvement on the supply chain. We have improved the quality. And uh, the, the, the most difficult part in a startup is raising funds, you know, especially in hardware. Uh, being a hardware company it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of effort, of people, of resources. And uh, we kind of struggled, as every hardware startup does, uh, to find uh, those resources. But now it's done. We just raised 2.5 million and we are ready to show the world what Mobile, mobile World Congress is and Mobile Only Vision is replacing the laptop. And so here, what you have going on is the Mira book here in yep. the corner. And what's this little attachment? So this little attachment is called um, the phone side. It's an accessory that I can clip and clip on the side of the, of the, of the laptop, of the mirror book. And then you have the 50 centimeters cable made for that in order to be comfortable. I mean, you can take it and it won't move. So, yeah, it's stable. It, it is stable, yeah. And we have other accessories, let me show you. And pretty much it's been like four or five years that every Samsung high-end S series and Note series and all the Huawei since the Mate 8, right. they're all compatible. Samsung high-end smartphones are compatible and Miraxis is partnered with Samsung Electronics and uh, Huawei is uh, compatible as well. Motorola has just released something called Ready4. They are compatible. There's the brand Crossco, which is French as well, and other coming up. Hopefully Apple, next year they will adopt the uh, USB Type-C, right? They will, of course they will, yeah. right? You have, uh, I'm joking. Uh, but they, <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna be supported. Maybe, do you wanna do a mirror book with a wireless support also in a switch or that's? This is uh, one of our idea, yes. Uh, I think uh, we have uh, two years uh, before we do that. Uh, before that, uh, we have created the mirror dock, the, the ultimate docking station with everything you need to use decks and um, and possibly after we'll make a tablet version we have our, our roadmap for that but uh, believe me uh, our purpose is to create experiences new experiences for decks for mobile only what is this dock that we see here the mirror dock the mirror dock is the ultimate docking station to be productive with your smartphone so let's say you connect it to your tv connect your smartphone with uh, with decks or equivalent, and then um, your smartphone turned into a desktop PC, and you can play with it. You can watch your uh, Netflix series or your YouTube videos. Uh, let's say uh, we we open the Sharbox uh, video, <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, basically it, it is meant for entertainment. But also, uh, let's say you are a company and you want to start being mobile only for all the reasons that I explained sustainability, cost, security. Well, you have this on your desk and it's a, a fixed PC that uh, you can use for uh, your employees. When the mirror book is for, on, uh, for mobility, the mirror dock is for desktop use. So this one has a bunch of ports here. Yep. What, what's going on? So we have four USB-A, um, two point, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two USB-A uh, 3.0, you have an uh, uh, Ethernet uh, connector with up to one gig of, uh, of speed. You have SD card readers, uh, HDMI out, USB Type-C to connect a second source. Let's say you have your smartphone on the front. Well, on the back you can have, I don't know, a Nintendo Switch or another smartphone or a tablet or a PC. And you have a button on the top that you can uh, press and switch the, the source. Switch the source? Yeah, with one screen. So there's uh, dual inputs. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. Um, is there any chance that you could even do a mirror book with a bunch of extra ports, like uh, dual output? No, like uh, the, the stuff. Like when I connect the S21, S22, all these phones, uh, they only support one external display, right? When you connect yeah, the Type C, there's do. no like dual yet. Yeah, unfortunately, Dex doesn't support uh, extended display. So you can have only one display. However, what we do at Murexus, because at Murexus, we are the first ambassador for our products, but also Samsung's product with, uh, with Dex. Um, show you. We use and we work with MirrorBook and MirrorDock uh, at the office. 
So what I do personally is I open my big uh, Fold smartphone and I can move the, the mouse to the phone screen and use it that way. So I can type my message here, then switch the, the, the mouse to the, the bigger screen and work. I can put my music here with my finger tap here. So basically, I have a dual screen. I don't, I don't quite understand. The mouse goes from this display to that display? Yeah, same here. It it's can just, be considered as a second display. It's just out of the display right there? Yep. And that's something that you had to add? It is supported with DeX, but we uh, kind of uh, highlight it because it is embedded in the mobile-only use. Nice. Uh, did you see this mass market? I want to see 8 million people buy this. Uh, what's the price, ultimately, potentially, for like a mass deployment where everybody needs to buy one? Mm, so I would say that if you want to be minimalist in your approach of uh, IT and have one device and be sustainable and really be efficient in your way to, to compute, then this solution is meant for you. You have one computer, one pocket computer, your smartphone, and then you add it, you add multiple accessories like MirrorBook, like MirrorDuck to improve the experience to really um, fit your needs. If you need a, a laptop because you go on the train, you want to watch a series, you want to work on your PowerPoint, then you, you get the, the mirror book. And if you want to work at home or entertain on your bigger screen on your TV, then you get the mirror dock. So both are complementary in, in the way you use your smartphone as a PC. And we believe that in five to 10 years, we won't have PCs anymore because it is logical to have one device. I mean, the smartphone has become the calculator, MP3 player, GPS, credit card recently. So it is obvious that it will become naturally the, the, the PC, the personal computer. MirrorBook is at 499 uh, uh, euros or dollars on our website, and MirrorDoc will be available in March at 139 euros and dollars. All right. Uh, you're not planning to do a lower cost MirrorBook, uh, like an entry level or something? Mm, interesting. So we would like to approach an uh, emergent market with that approach. Um, however, Mirror Access, Mirror Book, Mirror Doc is a high-end brand, so we will continue to make the best product as possible. Uh, so I don't think we can be uh, much lower than, uh, than this, but uh, we definitely want to approach the emerging market, so probably we'll make a second brand more accessible with different products. All right. Uh, what's the, the level of excitement when you sit down with the guys at Huawei or Samsung? <laughs> Are they telling you like, yeah, like, you know, because they, they're not, Samsung and Huawei is not selling laptops. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. Well, let me show you what we did in B2B for enterprises. <laughs> so for instance, uh, we have deployed MirrorBook to uh, the UK police forces, 350 mirror book to the West Midlands police. What they do is digital witness statement. They are on the crime scene, they type their report, it is directly sent over the air to uh, their central system, and they do remote work. This has gone the budget from 1.2 million pounds to 70,000 pounds, plus the carbon emission footprint. We have another one with the Irish Garda, so in Ireland, obviously. 400 mirror book deployed to access the back end and do their policing work every day on the road. Uh, recently, we are working with major companies uh, like uh, Thales, uh, who is um, uh, deploying a 100 DEX uh, station, and uh, they are checking if there is some uh, use cases for mirror book. But, They've uh, up upgraded their uh, productivity by up to one hour a day. That is huge. We have uh, a pilot running also with uh, EDF, so it's an uh, electricity company in France. Uh, they have, uh, let's say, 430 technicians in operation on the field, and their uh, current fleet is uh, 
3,000 euros per user for four years. And we are able with Samsung and Muroxess to have a, a budget of 1,100 uh, euros for four years with a Mirrorbook and uh, a smartphone. So that's why I'm saying. Slide, if you can go just before yeah. uh, the one you said, one hour of productivity a day. Yeah. Well, how? Well, let me explain. Uh, before that, uh, at the factory, they used to have uh, different uh, stations, and between each stations, they had uh, their computers, heavy computers, heavy uh, old Windows computers, and they took it from one post to another. And then every time they had to log in, they had to put the, the, the good software, connect to internet, and it was a long process. Now, just, they just have their smartphone in their hands, they go from one station to another, they plug to, to a screen, and that's it, it's plug and play. Oh, that's how it works, and it's great, and they want to just go full gangbusters on this? <laughs> or is there a lot of uh, uh, software tests. that needs to be adapted? Because uh, Android has sold 3 billion, 7 billion phones or whatever so far, but all the apps are not necessarily optimized for keyboard, true. mouse, and big display. So they need more apps. That is true. Sometimes, I mean, most of the time, they work on Windows. So it is not the same operating system, uh, different environments, different apps. So there are two solutions. Or they create the same apps on an Android environment, which uh, has been done, for instance, by the, the, the UK police. Or they use solutions like VDI. VDI is the first virtual desktop infrastructure. Basically, you have a PC in the cloud. Let me show you. So I open the Parsec app. I click on the computer, and you wait like three seconds, three, two, one, and you are connected to a Windows PC in the cloud. And you can use it with a, a very uh, acceptable latency. Is that like, on the AWS, or where do you, uh, This is Parsex, it, it's a different uh, solution. You use your own PC, and you put it in the cloud. But you have ah, the same solutions like home. Shadow, VMware, yeah. Citrix, for professionals. They all work great. They all work great, depending on your internet connection. Do you do a lot of shadowing yourself? Uh, I used to work on Shadow 100% of the time, uh, but now I switched to my own PC in the cloud with, uh, with uh, Parsec because I wanted to use my gaming PC, uh, unleash its power for something useful <laughs> instead of having uh, another third computers. I don't like uh, having uh, uh, multiple uh, computers. So the Lenovo thing back Big fat guys, they sell a lot of computers and stuff. And they have pretty good keyboard and Mac, some people, like it's pretty nice, the mouse and everything. How is your quality of the keyboard and the mouse, would you say? For the mirror book, it is a great keyboard. I only have good feedback. Uh, very close to the Mac one, but uh, in 2013, maybe. Um, so very good experience with the keyboard. The trackpad is, Good. I mean, I mean, would be decent for for certain people who are used to uh, uh, the the Mac uh, trackpad. But it is very usable. It is it is not perfect. This is the first version, but overall, it is a great product, and we have mainly good feedback. Because when you buy a mirror book, it's for ten years, it's for a decade. So you need to have few, like you need to be so happy with the travel and everything and the, the yeah. quality of uh, the whole whole thing. That's what we say. We say, Mirrorbook is the last laptop you will ever buy because then you can upgrade it to change the battery if it's dead, change the cable, but that's it. How about the display? Display when can last display 10, 10 years. Out, you easy. let people switch? Pardon? You, you will let people upgrade their displays? The display is not upgradable. It can be repaired, of course, but a, a display can last 10 years with no, no problem. Because if you look 10 years in the in past, the ThinkPad displays look like crap. Uh, <laughs> and, and now you want to be sure that whatever crazy innovation happens in displays five years in the future, maybe you want to swap it in. But that's not compatible potentially. Maybe for a second version. Maybe. Uh, but that's yeah. our intention to be, uh, uh, to, to, to be sustainable and to have our product lasting the, the biggest uh, time ever. Um, so, so you are market leader or not? <laughs> I wouldn't say we are market leader. 
Uh, we have uh, our competitor uh, NextDoc. We really appreciate them. We're our friend with Emre, so there's no problem with, with that. We, we were even considering collaborating on some projects. So I wouldn't say we are uh, uh, very uh, active competitors. We try to help each other more than uh, crush each other. Each other. Uh, but yeah, he, he's got great products. I think it, it would be a bit different. It's a different approach. What is different, for example, is the, um, the color touch that we have, this, uh, this special feature. The color touch is a, a cable slot so that you have your, your cable always with you. And this is very practical because you don't want to lose your cable or damage it in your bag. No. You have